people are really loving and caring people, but she really, that, it was loving and caring times 12. New at 8, friends of slain medical student Deanne Stryker are remembering her for the outstanding person she was. She was studying in the Winchester Library on Saturday when she was stabbed to death by an attacker. That man faced a judge today and his defense says that he is a very troubled man. WBZ's Louisa Moeller is live tonight in Winchester with the very latest. Louisa? Well, Lee and Paula, neighbors say they also saw the troubling warning signs. Now Jeffrey Yao is being held without bail after police say he randomly and viciously attacked that young woman here as she was studying. 23-year-old Jeffrey Yao was led into court in handcuffs, accused of a violent murder, the kind of behavior neighbors say they've long feared. I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. He was a ticking time bomb. Something was going to set him off, and this poor girl. On Saturday, prosecutors say Yao entered the Winchester Public Library and attacked 22 year old Deanne Stryker with a hunting knife. The college student stabbed 20 times. 77 year old Lester Tabor tried to help her, but he was slashed too. I suffered a, a wound on my arm, uh, approximately five inches long, maybe. At the deepest, a half inch. We've just suffered a huge loss from this one person. Deanne's death is rocking students at the University of New England, where she was a first year medical student. Many describing her as vibrant, a true light. She was one of the most genuine, happy, and open people that I've ever met. She was like a bright, shining ball of energy that lit up those around her. Now Yao's family has hired defense attorney J.W. Carney, who was a lawyer for Whitey Bulger. My client's family is devastated that um, after years of dealing with his mental illness, he commits this act. And neighbors are reflecting on a disturbing pattern. We know about his fits of rage. That's all we know. Now, Yao was arrested for breaking into a neighbor's home last year. In these court documents, police wrote that they had encountered him several times previously, and he had displayed erratic behavior and mental instability. Live in Winchester, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.